Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be making homemade cat food. Now, our cats are pretty important to us and this is something I've been wanting to do for the longest time and I've never really gotten around to doing it, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you want some more in-depth cat food making videos, I highly recommend you check out June's Kitchen. He and his girlfriend or wife, I'm not sure, have really amazing cat videos and they cook for their cats all the time in a way that I can only wish to be like, but we're gonna try our best today. We're gonna to be trying two different recipes. Our cats are kind of picky, especially Harry. He has a hard time really eating anything other than what he normally eats. So we're gonna be doing one that is a sardine base and one that is a chicken base. Hopefully they like at least one of them because I'd like to start doing this for them more regularly instead of just like an occasion thing. And it's in the middle of their birthday month right now. So they're all kind of spread out throughout the month. So that's why we're doing this as a little bit of a celebration for them. So the first recipe calls for sardines, cooked carrot, and cooked oatmeal. And the second recipe calls for cooked chicken, cooked egg yolk, steamed broccoli, and some olive oil. And if you are interested in actually making this for yourself, I will leave all of the ingredients and the recipe in the description below if you would like to try it out. So that's it. And let's actually get started cooking a few of the items because none of them are cooked right now. So let's go. Greasing with a tiny amount of olive oil. That wasn't very tiny, but whatever. All right. Keeping that on a low heat so it doesn't burn the oil because olive oil has a very low burning threshold. So we're gonna open our nasty chicken. This is the first time I've ever cooked chicken and it's disgusting, but it's fine. I'm gonna cook three of these. All right, so the next thing we're gonna start doing is steaming our broccoli and our carrots. So I picked up some baby carrots because I feel like that's the easiest to steam. And I have a single head of broccoli. This is pretty much the amount I'm gonna use there's a pepper in here. So I'm gonna use this entire head of broccoli and probably like a third of a cup of carrots. Heat that up and in the meantime, I'm gonna wash the broccoli and cut the stem off. This is what June does. Yeah. Harry doesn't care. <laughs> that was very hot in my hand. Dropping this boy in. I don't have a steamer. I wish I had a steamer, but someday. Next, we are going to do the oatmeal. This isn't like the regular instant oatmeal, so we gotta actually cook it in the microwave. So I'm gonna make a cup of dry oats. It's a lot of oatmeal. Well, I raised my liquid measuring cup. gonna boil over. Transferring to a bigger bowl. Delicious. We'll start with two minutes, see what happens. Chicken on our chicken. That's what chicken looks like, right? When you're getting excited, pussy. You smell? Okay, that seems about done. Yeah. 
right? Next we are going to, it just says cooked yolk in the recipe. sit so it can cool down. Transfer that little guy out. Let those cool down. And we're gonna drain some of the excess water out of my oatmeal. good to me, cat texture wise. George.
is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, go bear! I'm surprised. I'm shocked that he's leaving. have spoken and clearly they don't really care it's fine <laughs> so clearly the crowd favorite was the sardine carrot and oatmeal they pretty much all three of them took to that one immediately harry took a few bites of the chicken and broccoli one gus and george did not touch that one really at all so maybe it was the sardine smell that drew them in because they don't normally eat fish they're pretty much on a chicken diet so maybe they were attracted to that i don't know and maybe I could combine the recipe a little bit and do a, a chicken and sardine one with maybe some carrots. I don't know if it was the broccoli that maybe threw them off. I don't know. But we're gonna leave a plate on the floor for them where they normally have their food bowls and see over the next like half hour, 45 minutes if any of them come back to it because all three of them are grazing cats. They eat when they please. And see if they take to a different one. I mean, they seemed pretty satisfied when we put the plates in front of them, but Harry normally eats like a little bit and he leaves. That's very typical of him. I forget how little cats actually eat because their stomachs are actually so small. Like this is like enough for like a person. This is a person serving size, whatever. So yeah, that took like an hour and a half total with like everything cooling down because cats don't like hot food. They need things at room temperature. That's how their like sensory things work like in their nose. They need things to be at like normal room temperature for them to be enticed to eat something. Um, so not hot or cold, just normal room temp. So that's what everything was served at. So with everything cooling down after cooking everything, I would say like an hour and a half start to finish. I know there are a lot of other recipes out there on the interwebs. So I'm definitely down to try some more. Um, if you guys try either of these recipes let me know if your cats like it or if you have a recipe that your cats really like send them over to me i want to try to get these guys on some sort of slightly homemade diet in a way so they're not always eating kibble that way they can get some different oils some different amino acids and vitamins and stuff that they need so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this very strange video uh very niche for sure but yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, comment if you have any sort of advice or recipes, or if you try it with your cats, let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.